Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Natalie Payne with PTG Consulting, and I have joining me Natalie Smetona from Nemecolon. Hi, Natalie. Hello. Hi. Good to be here today. So good to see you. And thank you for joining us to tell us about all the updates and everything going on with Nemecolon. Um, this is a very special property for me because it was our first sales representation property. So, you know, it's been an amazing year. I think you and I, we've conquered and divided or divided and conquered mm -hmm. and really got the word out and just so excited to work with all of our travel partners. Um, one of the first things that always comes up for me is where did the name Nemecolon come from? So let's start with that and then we'll get into your presentation. Sounds good and understandable. It is a very unique name. So I feel like we get that question a lot. Um, so the name actually comes from Chief Nemecolon, who had forged the path up to where we are in the Laurel Highlands. So back when Mr. Hardy purchased the property about 30 some years ago, um, the name was there. And so as an homage to him, he decided to keep it. And that's how we became Nemecolon resort. It truly is the perfect fit. It's like a quirky name and this property mm -hmm. is just so unique. So excited to hear more about it and we will turn it over to you. Let me share your screen and Perfect. let's go. Thanks. All right. Sure thing. All right. So now Colin. So I love this photo because I feel like it gives a really great vantage point of where we are. As I mentioned, up in the Laurel Highlands, up in the mountains of Pennsylvania, um, a really great retreat, you know, kind of to get away from the city and really relax and unwind for a bit. So getting to us, um, speaking of that, so we are located, as I mentioned, western side of Pennsylvania. We're about an hour outside of Pittsburgh. So the main hub getting to us is going to be Pittsburgh Airport. So we've added a lot more nonstop destinations, which I'm excited to see. Uh, so getting to us is becoming even easier. And in addition to Pittsburgh, we also have a local airport, Morgantown Airport, which is only about 30 minutes from us. And then for those flying private, we actually have a private airstrip right on property. So guests can land right there on the ground um, or alternatively based on the size of the plane or the jet. If it's a little bit larger, they can go to Morgantown and we can do our VIP arrival experience over there. So the property itself. So I think this is one of the most important parts that I can help kind of break down and kind of share with you because our composition is a little bit unique. So we are comprised of three hotels, 40 townhomes, and nine private homes and estates. So looking at this whimsical map will kind of help give an overview of the property. So starting with the lodge, if you look on the lower right-hand side, the brown building there, that is where it all began. So Mr. Joe Hardy, who owns our property, they also own 84 Lumber, he had purchased the property um, as a little 26-room hunting lodge and then expanded it from there to just about 90 guest rooms. And then fast forward a couple of years after that, the family went to Paris and said, we want to bring that back to Pittsburgh. So they built the Chateau, which is on the bottom right, the white building there, which is modeled in size and scale to the Ritz in Paris. And then a couple of years after that, we hosted a PGA tournament event, the 84 Lumber Classic, and to house the 42 golfers, we built a 42 room, five star, five diamond resort right in between our two golf courses. Um, and that is Falling Rock. And then the homes and estates have kind of come interwoven throughout the years from there. So we've built our 40 townhomes and then our homes and estates, which one or two were built as most recently as last year and the year before that. So hopefully with more homes to come, we have a couple in the works we're excited about. All right. Another fun accolade to our property. We were the filming location of Matt James's 25th season of The Bachelor. So it was a really unique period where the entire season was filmed on our property. So whether you're a fan of the series or not, it's a really fun vantage point to see unique dates and different activities throughout the property and see it through a new set of eyes. All right. Breaking down the hotel room. So this is the Chateau. So coming up the main drive, this is the beautiful building that you see. So the building itself on the top fifth floor actually has a full concierge level. And so that boasts 24 hour butler service. So for the VIP guests or those you want maybe a little bit more elevated service, that's a fantastic place to send them um, with a beautiful hospitality lounge. And the rooms themselves all have these beautiful 14 foot high vaulted ceilings, chandeliers, very elegant, opulent European feel to the rooms. Um, the bathrooms themselves, very large, separate marble soaking bathtubs. So for those who love this type of aesthetic, really great place to send them. The lobby itself, hand carved wood throughout. And then right off the backside, we actually have a traditional tea room where we offer afternoon tea each day. And then to the left, we have our cigar lounge with an amazing array of cigars ranging truly from $20 to over $1,000. So if you have someone who's a true aficionado, amazing place to go and can have a great whiskey with that as well. Um, and then we also have to the right coming off of there, our new room, the blue room, which we're really excited about. So more to come with that. 
All right. And then speaking of our dining, so we have over 10 different dining outlets on property. This one, Latrec, is also in Chateau. So keeping with that theme, um, but this is one of the ones I really love to highlight because this features a prefix meal um, that changes. There's lots of little fun, fun surprises throughout the evening. But for those foodies or for those who love a little bit more of an elegated dining experience, I highly recommend sending them here and also booking it as soon as possible because it does book up fast. So as I mentioned, the 10 downing islets, some of the other ones range from Baratola, which is our traditional traditional Italian restaurant, amazing wood fired pizzas, and even PJs are ice cream parlors. So really fun for kids, families, all ages. I myself love it with local um, ice cream Millie's, uh, which is based out of Pittsburgh. All right, moving on to the lodge. So this is, again, where it all began. So we maintained the facade, that Tudor kind of front, um, as they expanded to where we are today. And so out front, we actually have a bonfire each night. Really fun. You could bring the family out, roast some s'mores, or bring a cocktail out as it gets a little later and great place to cozy on up year round. And then the rooms themselves. So we are really excited to mention that we are going to be doing a full renovation of the lodge um, starting in Q1 of next year. So this is what the new room product will look like. So keeping the lodge feel, we've got the antler chandelier, hand wood coffee tables, you see the plaid bedding, but keeping it really light and bright. Uh, the bathrooms themselves, again, white, stunning, clean lines. And this will also change our room product when I said about 90 rooms and taking that down closer to 70 so that we can add in some three and four bedroom family suites and make it a lot more conducive to those traveling with those um, size group and keeping it a little bit leisure focused for you guys who can really appreciate that. All right, moving on to our homes and estates. So we have nine estates slash homes. And so the designation really comes down to the size of um, the property itself. So they range anywhere from three to six bedrooms, sleeping anywhere from six to 22 guests. Each have their own very unique aesthetic. Um, so keeping uh, unique experiences for each one. This is one of my favorites, Mallards. It's sitting right on the golf course on a little private lake there. Uh, this can sleep 14 guests. Another one of my favorites, Dogwood, also one of our newer homes. Huge windows overlooking the golf course. Beautiful, um, can sleep 16 guests. And then our Washington townhome. So we have 40, 40 of these, and they are really great for families. Two bedroom, two and a half bath. The backside um, overlooks some of our wildlife as well as the golf courses, but you also have a little kitchenette there. So really great place for a little bit of a longer stay and um, good getaway. All right. The last of our products I'll talk about is Falling Rocks. This is our five-star, five-diamond resort. And so this is based off of Frank Lloyd Wright's famous home, Falling Water, which is only a couple... A um, couple minutes away from our resort, his apprentice helped design this property, hence the name Falling Rock as an homage to that. And so as you see kind of the vantage point of where we are in between our two golf courses and to the right, we also have our holistic healing center, which is in addition to our spa. And that is where you can get some really unique treatments, um, you know, anywhere from cryotherapy, float float tanks, um, sound therapy to a whole range, including some um, if you'd like a traditional massage there and maybe don't want to go to the main spa, they can go there too. So the aesthetic in the rooms is a lot more of the earth tones. Think the um, uh, keeping in mind with that uh, Frank Lloyd Wright aesthetic and the architectural uh, changes there. And then the um, this is the view from the pool itself. So overlooking the golf course, amazing sunsets each night. And we do have seven pools on property. However, this pool is exclusive to Falling Rock guests. So again, if you maybe have that um, elevated couple, golf groups who you know want a little bit more of a kind of getaway VIP experience, they all have the 24-hour butler service. So this is a great place to send them. All right, moving on to our activities. This is where we really shine. So we have over 75 activities. I will not cover them all today, but at a high level, I'll give you kind of a good breakdown of some of them. So our golf, this is probably our most notable. So we have two amazing championship golf courses, Shepherd's Rock, as well as Mystic Rock. And Mystic Rock was most recently ranked the number one golf course in Pennsylvania public course. So we're really excited about that accolade. And then we also unveiled our new golf academy last year. So this has six different bays where you can play over 100 courses from around the world, including our own. So even on a rainy day, you actually can get an opportunity to play one of our courses or just a fun way to kind of sit in the evening, hit a bucket of balls and get some beverages and really enjoy. We also have this great state of the art putting facility in there. So another fun, fun golf activity. All right, moving on to our spa. So we have over 40 treatment rooms in our spa. So it's extremely expansive with all the amazing um, amenities that you would hope from eucalyptus steam room, sauna. We have indoor outdoor pools, amazing fitness center. So a really great comprehensive building there. 
And then what we recently added last year was we have our new relaxation level. So after your treatment, be sure to add on. You can have a 30 or a one hour reservation up there for your own share. And they'll bring you a tray with tea, champagne, little light bites. Um, but you have your own dedicated area to really unwind after your treatment and kind of keep that experience going. And so if you enjoyed Woodlands, you can go to Wooflands for our pets. So we also have a doggy daycare and doggy spa facility over at Wooflands. So one of the pictures on the upper left is actually one of our themed accommodations. So if you want to elevate it a little bit, you can have one of the royal rooms, one of the football theme rooms. Uh, we also have a pool for them, treatments. But so we do have pet friendly accommodations on property. But in the chance that maybe you're staying in a non-pet friendly and you want your pet close by, you can have them lodge over there, go over and take them for a walk during the day. Um, or if they're staying with you and you want to send them to get pampered for a little bit, great place to send them. All right. And our deep off-roading. So we have 20 miles of dedicated off-roading uh, just for our guests. So they can bring their own Jeep if they are an aficionado. But of course, we have our own. So our, our guide would go along with you, do an instructional or a ride along. We also have over 100 acre field club facility. So internationally recognized clay shooting, air rifle, archery, paintball. Uh, we have 30 different stations back there. We can accommodate up to 200 people. So to give you an idea of scale, it is a huge, amazing facility. We also have our own Orvis endorsed fly fishing, our own stock stream, and we have our fun art studio. So we have both an adult and a kid's studio. So if you see the wine right there, we actually do a Pinot and paint for the adults. Um, and then kids, there's open studios, classes, but we also have a very renowned private art collection throughout the property valued over 45 million. So if someone appreciates art, they can go on a walking art tour, sculpture tour. We've got options for everyone in the family. And then our wildlife. So this is a very fun addition we also have. We have a wildlife sanctuary of rescued animals. So lions, tigers, bears, bison. Um, these are all free and complimentary for your guests to be able to go up and view at any point. Um, but that's where I mentioned the townhomes, the Washington townhomes, they overlook them. So it's really fun. If you're staying with kids, you can walk them outside, hear the lions roaring um, and take it for a little walk and see the goats. All right. Now we are not just a summer resort. We are year round. So we have our own mountain, Mystic Mountain on property where we can do skiing, tubing, snowshoeing. We have these new snow go bikes, which are really unique. We also even have dog sledding, one of my personal favorites, a really wow moment that they can take away. So you don't need to go to Alaska. You can do it right with us in Pennsylvania. And then we also have really fun fire pits up at the peak, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, and these can be rented out. So cabanas in the summer, in the winter, but in the winter, we're able to do s'mores, cocktails. Um, we even have a huge viewing screen where you can watch a football game and enjoy some drinks and light bites out there. So year round, year round fun. All right. So when we're not skiing, that mountain turns into our zip lining mountains. We have zip lining. We have ro ropes course, multi-tier ropes, rock climbing, a free jump. And now indoors at the peak, we also have our new cosmic bowling. So this is really fun. Uh, again, for all ages, day or night, rain or shine. And in there, we've also added in our new axe throwing as well. All right. So I mentioned our pools up at the peak. Well, we also have uh, seven pools throughout the entire property. These are two of the pools, not at the peak. The one at the left, however, is one of our family pools, which is down by the Chateau. And to the right is our new outdoor spa pool as well. So for guests enjoying spa treatment, they can enjoy that pool as well as an indoor lap pool. And then here is the peak, which I keep mentioning. So this is our new $10 million complex that we opened last year and is really amazing where we have live music each night. We have a great stage. We have our pool that is heated year round. In the front, there's a lazy river. In the back, you've got the swim up bar, which is great for adults. Here's a kind of different vantage point from there. And you can see the stage on the back, right? We've got multiple dining facilities in there, our bowling, axe throwing, and there's always something exciting happening over at the peak. And so that takes us to the end and giving you kind of a good overview of Nemecolin. Oh, I think we're muted. Oh, I was muted. <laughs> Thank you, Molly. <laughs> Technology. Um, I think I learned something every single time. Thank you so much. That was great. Um, I had a few questions come in while you were presenting. So just wanted to um, ask those. Someone said, what is, what do you feel is the most family friendly accommodation? Oh, great question. So my initial go-to is always, I'm going to say the Chateau. Um, the location is great. It's so centrally located um, because out of the Chateau is where we also have our kids club located. We have our arcade. We have an indoor kids pool. We have PJ's ice cream parlor. Um, we have our outdoor pool. So I usually say the Chateau because it's great proximity to everything. Now, that being said, I also will sometimes say the townhomes or the private homes are great if you need a little bit more room, some extra bedrooms, yeah, yeah. and you're up near our wildlife and some of our other museums. So 
great options for all. Several options. Several. Um, what's, what's the best time of year, do you think, to visit somewhere yeah. else? I mean, summer, uh, you know, we're, uh, I think is a great time where we're thriving. All of our pools are open, you know, everything to go, but we're not just limited to that. You know, winter, I also say it's an amazing time. We have so many activities every weekend. We actually have what's called our unwrapped series. So it kind of goes throughout the festive season and each weekend there's a surprise and delight performance, ice skating rink. Um, and then of course the fall and spring, you know, great time to golf and see the foliage and the flowers blooming. So I kind of gave you an answer of all seasons, <laughs> but, but it's you know, true. I mean, it really, really is. Yeah. It just depends if you want to come more for the pools and that, or the, those snow, go, sco, snow go bikes terrify me. I, yeah. I'm like, they look fun. My definitely are a little fun. thrilling, a little unique. Definitely. Yeah. And then finally we have time for one more, um, asking just what, what's the easiest way to get there? Do you suggest renting a car? Do you need a car when you're on property? Yeah. I mean, I, I always say if you can, renting car is great. Um, the good thing is on property, you really can drive and kind of park wherever you want throughout the grounds. And then there's also some great things in the area. So if you want to go to Ohio Pile State Park, you want to see some of the Frank Lloyd Wright homes. Um, there's some history in the area. Um, so there. It's nice I to have think, that flexibility. We, yeah, we really do. But if not, and you just want to come and stay, our shuttles, we have these amazing Mercedes Sprinter vans um, and these new Mercedes SUVs that will take you everywhere and are constantly circulating all day. So you really don't need your car once you're there. We can take you everywhere. So either way, you, you can't go wrong. But Perfect. And to all of our travel advisor partners, um, Natalie and I have worked together with their marketing team. We want to make this property as easy for you to sell as possible. So because there is so much to do, we've created, what is it, 15, I think, itineraries we yeah. have? Yeah, from three, <laughs> yeah, three and five days. So we have adventure, we have family, we have romance. You know, there's kind of something for every um, every client that you may have. So okay. as a follow up to this, we can certainly send you, you know, those itineraries. But just thank you for your continued partnership. Mm -hmm. I can tell you with full confidence that this property understands our market. They understand, you know, that if we make you look good, you're going to continue to sell Nimicolon. Um, and, and we just want to be a partner for the long haul. So Natalie, thank you so much for today. Thank you. That was excellent, excellent. And um, I have it recorded so we can share with everyone after as well. So perfect. Thanks, everyone, and we'll see you thank soon. you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.